Hey guys. So I've had these three crazy looking eggs for like a month and I keep meaning to videotape them when I crack them open because they are the three weirdest little eggs that I've ever seen. <laughs> you guys what they look like one of them is ginormous and another one is like a little fart egg which is like a teeny tiny little egg and then another one was like a white egg just random like it it's like it didn't grow a shell or something on the outside so I've been meaning to open it to see what's in there what were you cracking on that stump right there? Well, I gotta do dirty work. It, they started stinking, so I was like, mm, maybe I should take them outside. I just wanted to see if this one had a double shell, mainly, because it's ginormous. Like this white one, this is a normal sized egg, it's just got a weird shell. Yeah. This one is gigantic. Yeah. Stop, dude. And this one is a fart egg. Okay, go ahead. Mm. Don't let the chickens watch. <laughs> Look, she's like, what are y'all doing over here? Oh. Did it have a normal yolk? Yeah. It was just... Three yolks. No, I think it's just double yolk, babe. No yolk. No yolk? Are you sure? Well, maybe. Yep, the yolk. Ew. Rotten. Rotten. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, just leave it. It'll it'll disintegrate, babe. Don't bring that back to the house. Don't eat that egg, baby. You're gonna get sick. It was rotten. Oh, it's just Sacrilege right there. It's just nasty. Sucker de bleh. <laughs> nasty. Hey guys. So that was nasty. I don't know what compelled me. It was like a compulsion. Like I had to keep those eggs for some reason. I was saving them. I had plenty of time to videotape. Like, I don't know. I I don't know. I'm just the weird egg lady, I guess. But anyway, I, Rob went and took the trash and I started trying to put the Christmas tree together and I will put a little footage right here. <laughs> did not get it up even remotely because I couldn't find the stand for it anywhere. It ended up being right where it was supposed to be, but I just couldn't see it or I was lazy or whatever. Rob will probably say I was lazy. But then over here in the corner, um, I have another tree. There's some balloons and some random things over there, but I was just trying to get things organized to start putting our Christmas trees together. And I will try to film more tonight if we get them up, but you will get to see them. Uh, Lily says she wants to help, and that will be fun if we can do it as a family later on, maybe after dinner. So, yeah, it's been a really quiet day here. We've just been doing little chores here and there, and it is December 3rd, I believe. And, yeah, I think I'm going to make some pork chops for dinner. And right now I think I'm just going to rest, take, take a little load off and watch a movie maybe for about an hour and then we will get busy. It's starting to get dark out here. It's only five o'clock. The kids are doing some jumping on the trampoline that they got for their birthday, which y'all will see in their birthday video that's coming up here in a couple of days. Hi! 
Hey guys, so some of our lights on, on this big pre-lit tree are not working. And we're gonna try and figure out, like I think there's some right here. Those aren't lighting up and it's all on this whole branch right here. We're trying to figure out a way to, cause like I think all this whole middle section is not working. Half of it or something. The whole middle section and then the whole top section. We're gonna try and figure out how to get this to work. It worked last year, or it worked, it worked the last time that we, that I had this tree up, so. Look, Santa's like that with the reindeers. Oh yeah. And I thought Santa popped right Santa's out of that Santa's beautiful, beautiful and that tree. Yeah, he is. I hit the pickle. Fix it, Daddy. I hit the pickle. Not yet. I'm the pickle. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm standing in line here at Toys R Us at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30, trying to get a Nintendo. And, all and a Hatchimal. These, yeah, and all these people are here getting Hatchimals. And that's the beginning of the line. <laughs> and then... That's the end of the line right there. <laughs> it's crazy. So, feel sorry for me and all of us in this line because we're crazy. I did not think I was going to be one of those crazy people to come out here and get one of these things, but it's cold. But at least it's good company. There's lots of nice people here. So, cross your fingers for me. Well, guys, uh, my. Nintendo search has been thwarted. I stood in line for an hour in that line and then the Toys R Us employee came out and told me, well told everybody, well he was taking names and there was like all those people were there for Hatchimals and um, when he got to me I was like Nintendo and they were like we sold out of those way ahead in the line and I was like oh my gosh. Ugh. So my mom is still standing in line somewhere, I'm assuming. I talked to her last night and she said she was and we talked about how early she should go out or we should go out. I haven't heard a word, so I'm hoping that's a good thing. <clears throat> Either she's slept in <laughs> or she's at the front of the line getting a Nintendo. Also, I have a friend who is standing in line where she lives and um, she's got a friend with her, so hopefully, maybe, um, I could buy that one off of her. I don't know. This is crazy. I don't think it's, there's been a toy search like this since the Cabbage Patch Kid. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, to be continued, I will let you know, Nintendo will not get this one over on me. I am going to get that for cash. It is the only thing he is asking for for Christmas. And, you know, my mom told me, she's like, now you understand why we stood in line in 1983 to get a Cabbage Patch kid for you. She's like, you will do whatever you have to do for your kids so that they get what they want under the tree at Christmas. So, yeah, I never thought I would be one of those crazy parents, but I am. And it wasn't too bad. Everybody was really friendly. Everybody was staying in line like they were supposed to. It wasn't like a mad frenzy or anything. But if you missed the in stock at Toys R Us uh, for the Hatchimals and the Nintendos, today is Sunday at some god awful time in the morning. Well, right now it's almost 7 o'clock, but I got out at, it was before 5 o'clock when I got out. It was like 4.30. 4.30 or 4.45 when I got to the first Toys R Us. Cray! Yeah. I'm just sitting here. I don't know if you can tell, but over there, yeah, there you go. There's the line for the Hatchimals. It's going all the way around the store. <laughs> and I saw the employee come out and they're like, we're out of unicorns! Unihatchimals or whatever the heck. And like a whole bunch of people walked out of line. I'm like, why would you even care which kind you're getting? Just get one. Gee. Anyway, y'all, I think I am going to end the vlog right here because I have no idea what kind of footage I have. I am a huge fail 
at doing this whole vlogmas thing I'm just gonna vlog every day and whenever it gets up it gets up okay I know you still love me and I still love you please don't forget to subscribe and hang out with our family and I will keep you posted on whether I can snag one of those Nintendos oh hey and if you got an extra one please 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 be a friend and let me know I will take it off of your hands and thank you very much <laughs> love y'all see you tomorrow